about setting expectations for our students, but there's work that has to happen before we ever get to the place of setting expectations for our students. And that's the internal work that happens with us as educators to prepare for a new and changing landscape. So one of the things I think that is really important when we're thinking about building a foundation is around think think about it like running a marathon none okay. of us get to the place where we can run 26 miles without doing a ton of work in advance to get ready to run those 26 miles i've tried to do it and it doesn't work well so the preparation that has to happen is really important and that's not just tactical um, objectives. We know what we want students to get at the end of this. We know we want okay. them to learn, right? But just like we do when we run the mile, we want to cross the finish line at 26 miles. And that may look like um, the standards and benchmarks that we build against, right? However, there are things that we as teachers need to do before we ever even show up for the race. One of those things is to understand, to get our mind in the right frame of mind, to get ready for it, to want it, and to get ready for it. And one of the ways we do that, Jill, um, Cheryl Sandberg talks a lot about in that book of hers, Lean In, about internalizing the revolution, right? We are here. The time of virtual delivery is upon us, whether we sure. like it yeah. or we don't like it. And some days we might like it and some days we, we may not. Mm -hmm. But the important portion of that is that remembering that we're a work in progress, that because this is new for many of us, that we're gentle with ourselves in that progress and knowing that every day will unfold in a new and different way. So I think as we talk about um, the work that we're doing, it really is a conversation about the teacher ambition gap, meaning we have the ambition to teach in this way and to deliver content in this way and meet the needs of our students. We intellectually know the content in which needs to be delivered, but we may not have all of the skills necessary to address this gap. Wouldn't you agree that that's what you're hearing on Main Street, that this is what teachers are struggling with? Yeah, a lot. And, and, and I, think it's, I think it's very valid, especially when you have teachers who are highly skilled, highly motivated, um, are able to get students to engage really well, perform exceptionally well in a face-to-face -face world. And now, and you're right, the paradigm has shifted for them. And, and that's what we're hearing for sure. Um, when I speak to teachers here in the Middle East, these are the challenges they're facing. Um, how do they manage it? How do they keep the same set of standards that they did? And I'm hearing a lot of how teachers are feeling insecure on of, around the parents and the students look up to them in a certain way and whether they're delivering to that now. You know, so I think you're right. I think you're right. Um, we have to, our teachers have to recognize that it is a work in progress. It's kind of like, holding the plane while you fly it, right? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And so the thing that I've realized as we begin to navigate this is one, we are stronger than any one of us as an individual, right? That it's when you really- say, when, you say, when you say we, you mean, you mean the collective nature of us working together. Okay, yeah, I've got that. Collective community of educators. Okay, yep. Number one, we're educators. Um, yep. And I think, I think that the question that I, I would ask for the people that are watching this to think about is, what would you do if you weren't afraid? If you weren't afraid? If you weren't afraid that I'm gonna get on with my students and how am I gonna manage 26 students on a virtual call and the overwhelming nature of how we deliver content in that environment? 
What if you were brave enough just for today to say, I'm going to figure it out as I go, and I'm going to figure it out, and then I'm going to come together with the collective we, and we're going to collaborate, and each day I'm going to get a little bit better. And that brings us to the place where we each take our seat at the table as educators in this new landscape.